It is 2.35 a.m. I done went to the gym. I then took a shower and now I'm chilling right now. I started to make the video at the gym, but it decided that it wanted to shut off. Well, it didn't shut off, but I had it on the wrong setting. And when I had it on the wrong setting, it was like slow-mo or something. So you couldn't really hear what I was talking about. But basically at the gym, I was saying that I'm so proud of myself because I decided to make a whole new foundation for my life. And when I first started my journey, I decided to go under a teacher. And um, when you're under a teacher, you kind of get misconstrued. And you see me do the, doing the quotation marks because you have to understand that, for one, you have to know yourself enough to even go under someone to learn under someone to even see the signs of a good teacher okay that's first and foremost first and foremost that's first and foremost a good teacher actually teaches you a good teacher does not try to instill fear in you a good teacher shows you your worth and a good teacher allows you grace to find your way and to make your foundation a good teacher doesn't try to force their foundation on you they just show you a way and you decide they allow you to decide a good teacher manages their emotions and their ego a good teacher allows you to be great in your own authentic way. A good teacher does not, let me tell you what a good teacher does. A good teacher gives you the information without question, all of their sources and where they got it from. A good teacher shows love, grace, kindness, and they're firm, and they show you discernment, and they just teach from their heart unconditionally. So I just want to say, if you learn from a teacher, you may learn different lessons, but it does not mean that that teacher was a good teacher. But you got a lesson nonetheless, and now it's time for you to make your own foundation and that's just where i'm at right now making my own foundation okay making my way downtown walking fast <laughs> i'm i'm finding my own foundation and it's a beautiful place to be because when i went under someone i did not know who i was i just wanted to be led and that's a scary place to be you should not just want to be led you should want to want to learn it's okay let me say it like this it's good to be led but you should lead yourself first okay somebody and everybody anybody cannot just give you the answers that you're seeking you have to do the work okay you have to research you have to do certain things for yourself to understand and know what's right and wrong for you in your life so back to me I am deciding that I want to set a foundation for myself, a solid foundation that is based on security, grounding, discernment, discipline, and consistency. I'm striving to place my foundation on what I know and what my ancestors tell me and my intuition. I am striving to base my foundation on my purpose and my soul mission and just the things that I love to do, the things that make me feel good. And it's not going to be forced. And that's the beautiful thing about it. I am going to have fun with this journey. I'm going to 
learn as I go. I'm going to take in the little moments and I'm going to actually listen to my ancestors when I get messages. I'm going to listen to divine most high when I get these messages. I'm going to actually listen to myself. And now in the place that I'm at, I know that I'm not crazy with my gifts and certain things like that. So I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all throughout my whole journey. Okay. And that's not just with this cleanse, not just with these videos that I'm making throughout this whole series or whatever the case is. I'm going to keep it a buck throughout my whole life. And some people may feel like this is too vulnerable for social media. Some people may feel like I'm doing too much or sharing too much, but I feel like I'm sharing enough and I feel like certain there's not enough people that's doing this. Okay, I'm going to just say it like that. It's not enough people that's being vulnerable enough. Okay, we need real. We need the real because people need to know how to get by and how to do certain things. All right. So I want y'all to understand that you're never alone and you got this as long as you know that you got this. Okay, you just got to know what your foundation wants to look like for you. just have to clear off some energy okay you just gotta know what your foundation looks like for you if my foundation looks like i need to cleanse out my body i need to cleanse out my colon i need to just do right by myself because i know when i eat good i feel good when i do good i feel good and i like to feel good within my body but also i'm learning what works for me because i don't want to look a certain way that I was looking before prior, I know how I want to base my foundation. And it's not even always about the looks. I know how I want to feel, but I also know now that I don't have to cut out everything and be so stern and strict throughout the whole process of my life, you know, because it's no fun if you're just being so strict and not doing anything, you know, and also that does not mean just because that you're being so strict with your diet, that does not mean that you're being healthy enough because we need our nutrients and we need balance. We need our nuts. We need our seeds. We need our carbs. Okay. But it's the right carbs. It's the right things and how we do them, how we soak them and things of that nature. And as we go, I'm going to show y'all. So this is day one. Me keeping a buck. Me keeping it a beam. And showing y'all the real, okay, of my foundation. And as I go with my foundation, as I show y'all, we're going to grow together. And it's up to y'all to take what you will and leave what you will. I'm not swaying nobody to do nothing. I'm not telling you how to live your life because you know what's best for you okay i'm just showing you what works for me and so in that process you can take whatever and leave whatever um what else do i want to tell y'all yeah that's really all i wanted to say this is day one of me finding what works for me again this is day one of just doing what works for me. So, y'all on the ride with me, 2.44 on the clock. All right, so we're building foundation. If you would like to join this beautiful journey, and make it your own i encourage you to do so as you watch this series because i will be documenting every single day all right so i love you and subscribe of course if you would like to see my beautiful face <laughs> no but not only that if you would like to see this journey subscribe if you would like to be a part of this journey if you would like to make 
your own journey and just learn from what I'm doing. Subscribe if you would like to just be and just catch up with your girl. Like the video, subscribe, all that good shit. But nonetheless, I'll talk to y'all later. And um, if I got something else to say, I'll tap in again with y'all. So, yeah. I also, by the way, I'm going to drink this before I go to sleep. This is green juice. This is collard greens, turmeric, ginger, and sea moss. So, nobody said this shit was going to be good. Okay. That's just kind of spicy too. I added cayenne pepper <clears throat> to cleanse my blood and all that good stuff. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for being here. Um, respect to y'all that is hopping on this and doing it for yourself and doing it for your, excuse me, doing it for yourself and your health. Props and kudos to y'all. I love y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Talk to y'all later. Peace.